The automotive design world is so much different than it was. There's more competitors in the space. The hardest part of that is, how do you be different? The excitement of joining Rivian was this idea that it was something new. It was this type of vehicle that hadn't really been done before. You know, it has hints of something maybe your nostalgia that you've seen before, but it feels totally fresh and new. It's electric and it's still so functional. Yeah, Rivian. Time is of the essence. The VR process has been phenomenal for that. We use an Autodesk alias and combining that with Sub-D and also Autodesk V-Red. Putting on a headset to go into VR is probably my favorite part of the day. We can very, very quickly grab data that we're working on, pass it over to our team that set up the V-Red and the VR, and then put some goggles on and have a really great look at all the work we've been doing and evaluate things quickly. What would take a lot of money and a lot of time to do in clay, we can do very, very fast digitally. The first time I put the goggles on on a VR, I remember sitting in this room and thinking, oh my God, where has this technology been? It was just not going back. I knew there was no going back. This had to be an integral part of the process. Alias is a great tool because it's very quick to iterate, especially with sub-D modeling now coming in the picture. Even a designer can now start using sub-D modeling. They can quickly iterate, start moving around surface. It's a little fun now. They start to integrate a lot quicker with it. And then we're able to export that and quickly go right into V-RED. As long as you have your materials in there, you can start dragging and dropping things left and right and really starting to put together a story. We have a material scanner. We'll actually take that small sample, put it into the machine, it reads it. We can then import it into V-RED and actually apply exactly what we see physically directly into the model. We can look at all the different iterations quickly. So let's say we have four different wheel sets. We can then do a switch that we can then look at different wheels uh, through iterations. It's really, really good with handling large amounts of data. It's allowing us to really evaluate design properly, more so than you even can on a clay model. So it gives you a sense of reality without making any physical models. Does that door panel feel high? Does the steering wheel feel too low? really, really helps us streamline the process, help with the resources, and saves a lot of time. So the amount of clay, material, wood, foam, that we've been able to save, a significant amount. So VR is not only allowing us to be more sustainable, but also it allows us to have a collaboration between different teams. We're using VRED internally here to do design reviews. It's so important that we put so much care into every detail. It's not often you, you get it right first time, you know, it's quite often that that's a very long process. I think not having VR and Autodesk in, in our workflow would not only would be a sad day, but it would be a it'll be a slower process. Oh, it makes our job so much easier. Absolutely makes it so much easier. We know the decisions that we need to make fairly earlier on and not waste any time and resources. I feel like the industry needs to move forwards, you know, and, and we're, we're on a path at Rivian to help it move forwards. It's about making sure that the world goes in a positive direction.